Hey ladies, Bianca Charisma here, and today I have a Love Me Hair tutorial for you guys. This is my second Love Me Hair tutorial for a U-part wig, and this time I'm going to show you how to install it with your hair straightened. So this is the U-part wig. I have the Body Wave. They sent me these goodies, so I got a comb, I got a wax stick, I got this cute little clip, hair clip, and I have a flat iron, which how do you get a flat iron when you order a wig like that's so amazing that these companies especially love me hair will send you all these goodies along with your u-part wig to help you with the install so i think that is great what i am doing right now is i am just parting my hair as you can see i already parted myself a side part and then i just put the u-part wig on top of my head and i am measuring my hair so i want to have some leave out in the front so I'm um, measuring the cap to see where my leave out how much leave out I should have out and then what I'm doing is taking the end of the comb and I am just kind of um, pretty much combing my hair in the U shape that the wig already is in so I'm kind of using the wig as a way to outline the U shape in my hair and the fact that my hair is already straight makes it so much easier for me to you know pretty much create a U that is going to you know fit alongside with my U part wig so I just kind of secured my hair at the top and now I'm going to secure the rest of my hair into a ponytail. I'm going to do a low ponytail and then I'm just going to braid my ponytail up and then I'm going to just pin it to the back of my head. Now since my hair is pretty straight, it's going to lay pretty flat when I apply the U-part wig. So I'm not really afraid of having any lumps or bumps because there is so much hair on the unit and my hair is pretty much just flat, flattened with these um, bobby pins that I should be good. So I'm taking the U-part wig, it has clips inside, it also has a clip at the bottom, it's got a strap, it's got a whole lot of things in order for you to keep it nice and secure on your head. Now when you get the U-part wig, you guys, it's going to have like this little um, thing that connects the U, so you can cut that right off. I'm just clipping the U-part wig to my head just like you would clip in extensions and I'm clipping that as close to my hair as possible as close to the U and you see I'm pulling it it's not going anywhere it is nice and secure I'm clipping the back it is all good and yes so if you feel like you have a tiny little lump I feel like you know just in case it might have looked lumpy in the back which it didn't I just clipped the little bobby pin in the back to secure my u-part wig so I did that right under the hair um, through the neck and into my um, my hair so you guys it's really easy that was an optional step um, but I am just combing my hair I'm parting it back to that side part and I'm blending my hair with the u-part wig and now I'm taking the wax stick and I'm just going to go ahead and evenly distribute that and kind of finger comb it through my hair to the wig to make sure it all blends well and after that what you guys can do is you can wine curl or flat iron your hair with the hair but I wasn't really going anywhere so I didn't really want to do that step I wanted to avoid any extra heat so my hair is pretty blended already so I'm gonna just go ahead and take my baby hairs you know my edges blend that out really good with my u-part wig and you know just make sure it all looks natural make sure it all looks blended and I feel like I love the look you guys make sure that you check my description box below to see all the details on this hair make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this method and this look and I thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video